Well, hello, boys and girls. How are you today? Good morning or good afternoon or good whatever time it is that you are doing this lesson. I hope that you're having a great day today. This is Mr. Brusson over here, and of course, we are going to do a science lesson. Uh, last lesson, I told you that we were going to be doing maybe one or two more lessons about waves, okay? I know that you are thinking, Mr. Brusson, we've done a lot, but there is a lot to know about waves. And as fourth graders, we are getting to almost the limit of what, well, there is no limit to anything that we uh, that we can learn. But anyways, as fourth graders, I think we have a lot of information about waves. Now you can brag to your family members and to your friends and to anybody that wants to listen about everything you know about waves, okay? And you can also keep learning on your own if this subject really interested you. But before I get into the learning target, I want to do a little review. So these are all the waves that travel from the sun to our planet, right? These are all the waves. And those in the middle, what are those in the middle? Do you see that? That is visible light. Those are the waves that we can see. So we call it visible light. And uh, they are the ones that uh, actually we see colors. What we're really seeing is those waves reflected of different objects. Remember that lesson? Remember the reason that an apple is red? You remember, right? Because that object, that apple, absorbs all the light rays except for the red. The red is reflected back and so we can see that color. You remember that lesson, I'm sure. So when the light waves go through a prism, remember, it was divided into all those colors and we can see which is the colors of the rainbow, uh, the red, the orange, yellow, uh, green, uh, I can't remember all the colors of the rainbow, uh, blue, uh, uh, indigo, violet, I think I got them all, maybe I'm missing one. Well, guess what? Today, we do not want to talk, we do not want to explore, we do not want to discuss visible light. We do not want to explore that today. We want to explore the waves that the human eye cannot see, but that we know are there. So the ones that have a longer wavelength than red. Remember, red is uh, are the waves that have the longest wavelength. So we want to explore today those lights that happen after the red. You see how the wavelengths keep getting bigger for the infrared, the microwave, and the radio. Our learning target today is I can explain how we use some of the electromagnetic waves that are invisible to the human eye. Okay? So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain how it is that humans, that you and me, use the electromagnetic waves that are invisible to the human eye. So not the visible light, but those waves that have a longer wavelength than the red light wave. So I want to give you a few minutes, okay? I want to give you a few minutes for you to just sort of guess... Uh, but maybe not totally guessing. I'm sure many of you have already heard or have seen someone explain or have explored how we use those waves. But if you haven't, I guess it would be sort of a guess. So I want you to take a few minutes and in your notebooks or in whatever document you are using to uh, take notes for science, I want you to write how do you think that us humans, how do you think that we use those waves? So what do we use them for, okay? So take a few minutes and explain that in your notebooks. How do we use those invisible waves? All right, so let's go ahead and share now 
what you wrote about those waves that we cannot see, the invisible spectrum of waves. Well, I'm not going to wait any longer, and now I am going to tell you that today we are going to explore how cell phones work, and how radios work, and how TVs work. How is it that we can get an image, or we can get a sound, okay, right in our faces, okay? when that image and that sound was sent from uh, hundreds and thousands of miles away. How does that work? How did it get to us? How did it travel from one point to the other? Do we have a little green man running from point A to point B, bringing back and forth messages? Is that the way that it happens? You know, uh, how do we get that information in such a short period of time? Right? All those images and all those sounds to our cell phone, to our TV, our radios. How does that happen? So today we are not going to get into how we discovered that there were those invisible waves, okay? Uh, but you can. you can. You can look for a lot of information. Different people that were interested, that were scientists, that were curious. It's usually curiosity. And sometimes they were doing something else and they discovered those waves, okay? But now we know, thanks to those people, that we do have those invisible waves, okay, that have longer wavelengths, all right? We know that. That's a fact now. Let me show you a few images, and then I'm going to ask you to sort of try to explain them in your own words. So this is the first one. Look at that one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Now, take a few minutes and in your notebooks, okay, just from looking at those pictures, explain how do you think that cell phones work, okay? How do the information is sent to you or from you to someone else? How does that work? Okay, so think about that and write a few ideas. And now, let's uh, share with the rest of the class. How do you think that cell phones work just based on those photos and maybe some background information that you have? Let's share. Well, before we get 100% into cell phones, I would like to give you a link to a video that explains how the all phones work, okay? The ones that were super big that you might see at some grandparents' house, okay? They're not cell phones. Um, but uh, the way that cell phones work, in a way, is very similar to the way that those work, okay? So I want to give you a little bit of background information, and this video does a perfect job of that. Let me give you that link. So how phones work video, okay? You can click on that, or maybe your teacher will. So once we figured a way, right, according to the video, once we figure a way to turn uh, that vibration into electrical signals, all we needed was cables to send it from one side of the country to another side of the country or from one side of the world to another side of the world. However, if you look at your cell phones, are there any cables connected to your phone? That's right. That's why they are, we, we sometimes call them wireless, wireless, no wire phones. So that's where waves come into play. You remember this from the beginning of the lesson, right? You see infrared microwave and radio waves, right? Well, guess what? We found a way to get that signal whether it is an image or a sound without a wire. What do you think we use? Well, we do use microwaves. 
<laughs> I, yeah, the same microwave that you use to heat your food. That's right. But different frequencies, so different wavelengths, okay, work differently. So we send the information with microwaves and radio waves from one place to another. It goes from your phone to a tower, okay, somewhere, and then to the other cell phone. And we are not going to get too much into this, but uh, they're, they're not, they're sent, okay? They're sent as uh, signals, okay? They use, uh, a, 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 and we're not going to get too much into this, but uh, those images and those sounds are sent uh, in signals, all right? Um, sort of like computer uh, programs, sort of, uh, you know, uh, ones and zeros. Well, anyways, you will learn more about that later, but they're sent and then there is that tower or uh, that uh, satellite that picks up the signal and sends it somewhere else. Okay, so and it travels through those waves, microwaves and radio waves, without a cable, without a wire, wireless. Using the waves, the invisible waves. And now I want you to watch another video. This one explains perfectly how the mobile, the cell phones work, the wireless sense phones work. Okay, that one that you watch last explained how phones in general worked, right? But now this one is specific about the wireless phone. It is that link, how mobile phones work video. So you're either gonna click that yourself or your teacher is gonna do it for you. So, do you see the connection now between the waves, the invisible waves that the human eye cannot see, and cell phones, and you can extend it to radio and to television. Same way. Absolutely amazing, huh? That we can say something here, and in an instant, someone on the other side of the world, of our planet, can hear our voice can hear the message exactly as we said it clearly all because we discovered the invisible waves so i want you to take now about five six minutes and in your notebooks or whatever documents you're using to take notes please write what what is the connection between uh, cell phones televisions radios to invisible waves okay how do they work you don't have to give a perfect scientific explanation, but just what you learned, what you know about cell phones, okay? And how they use the invisible waves to send information, all right? So explain how cell phones work. Okay, boys and girls, if you have time, you can share now, two or three of you can share, or more if there is uh, enough time. Or maybe there is no time to share today. But anyways, now any time that you use your cell phone, or you're watching TV, or listening to the radio, you know how those signals are sent from you to either close to another neighbor's house, or to the other side of the country, or even the other side of our planet. Now we know how that works. Thank God that we were able to find those invisible waves. Anyways, have a great day. Be curious. Remember that science is everywhere. Bye-bye. See you later.